Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we are going to talk about something that I have been learning over the past year or so, maybe even longer than that. To be fair, it's probably a lifelong lesson for everyone, but definitely in the last six months, I have really been learning this bloody lesson, which is not fun. <laughs> and this is a daily habit that I have started to implement for myself because I noticed especially as a child, that I would absorb everybody else's mood, everyone else's emotions and thoughts and belief systems. Oh my God, belief systems like a major one. And then I like absorb it and take it on as my own. And then I have no idea what my own energy feels like. So it's okay to feel your sadness because that's obviously an emotion that's coming up within you, no matter what triggers it. It's still an emotion that you're feeling. So you need to feel it, but that doesn't mean that you keep their energy, their mood, their thoughts, their everything in your space. So we need to clear that shit out. And it's a bit of a process to um, like be consistent with. I feel like it's something that you have to work at and build momentum with is to just clear them out of your aura every time you want to sit with your emotions. And also the thought patterns that are coming up, whatever the narrative is that's being spoken, <laughs> I can think of a word, whatever's being said in your mind, you want to be able to observe it. And if you're consuming everybody else's thoughts and emotions around you, then it just becomes overwhelming and you can't tell the difference between yours and theirs. And even if it was all yours, it would be very overwhelming because there's just so much of it. So being able to actually calm it down, clear everyone else out, and then be present with your own so that you can actually dive deeper into it and not feel so suffocated and kind of flooded by everyone else's bullshit. And that is as simple as an intention, as a visualization. There's so many ways you can do it, but it's just whatever you want to do and whatever feels best for you because it's effective no matter how you choose to do it. For me, I like to set intentions. I like to visualize it because I am a visual person. I am a Pisces, so it's very easy to just see pictures and images in my head. But you might want to speak it and say it out loud. Like You can do it however you want to do but just clearing everything to do with them and their vibe you know you can feel their vibe when you are near them and stuff you can feel who they are and how they interact with the world and the kind of frequency and energy that they give off so clearing that out of your space so that you can actually process your own emotions in your own energy and in your own aura without all of these cracks and all of these other people infiltrating that and kind of taking over your space because it's very very hard to process your emotions when you're not sure whether your emotion is yours or whether it's somebody else's you know so clearing them out so that you can actually sit with how you feel and what you're going through and be able to work through that on your own without them infiltrating your space so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description box below for all links about me and links to my music and everything else. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I'm the thing you like, be my range all white. Oh, yeah, I think you might. I'm the thing you like, be my range all white.